Hello everyone, today's video is be mentor of yourself. Now let us proceed with this, it means the students by themselves they can see what drawbacks they have, what negative points do they have, okay, what positive points do they have in themselves, how they are going to build up for themselves. Now here the first one is you organize your study time. When you organize your study time, it means you should plan for how you are going to study. The hours for study, you fix it up. But once you fix your hours for study, in between what you do is go on taking regular breaks. There has to be break in between. If you study for half an hour, take 10 minutes break. Then again you sit and study. Don't make study only monotonous. Always enjoy your studies. Now second very important part is go always for group study. When we speak for group study, it means you make a group of 6 or 8 children of your category, of your circle, make a group. Once you make the group, then just discuss in your group that tomorrow we are going to discuss on this particular topic. Let everyone be ready. Just put up this topic and just ask them to discuss. You see what is not common in everyone, you speak that particular point. Once you speak that particular point, then what happens? The people, they will also listen to you, they will be attentive to you and you will not forget this during exam. This is a wrong concept nowadays developed in the students that if I go for group study and if I give my own points which everyone was not thinking about, then they will also score good marks. No, you will not forget. But the person who has heard once, they may forget to write in the exam. So it is very good for you that you will remember it. Prepare flow chart and diagram which makes your study very interesting and very simple to learn. You will remember every minute bits of the topic, you will not forget. So always make a flow chart or make a diagram so that the concept is very clear with you and you can score very good marks in your exams. Next one, keep some difficult questions which you want to do at the end of your academics or maybe a particular day. Don't read the difficult ones on the same day itself. Keep it for some other day that only these two questions which are very difficult for me, I'm going to learn on that particular day. Prepare notes by yourself. Reading one paragraph, how many questions you can frame? How answer you are going to write it down? What points you want to remember? And underline that particular point which you're going to forget. Underline the keywords which is very important for that particular answer. Correct. Never forget that whenever you are studying, you always feel Mujhe nahi khana, ye galat karte hai. Go for healthy diet. Healthy diet and between some gaps, 2-2 two, two hours gap, 3-3 three, three hours gap. You have to decide by yourself. You feel bored, get up from that area, go to the kitchen, by yourself take a glass of water, drink. In between, you can take a glass of milk and in the milk, whatever you want to add up, add up and drink. That can be done by you. Last is that go for self-testing. Prepare the question paper by yourself, write the answer by yourself, check the spelling using your book. You can go for online question papers and prepare yourself. See how your marks is there, how there is improvement in the academics. Thank you everyone and all the best.